Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna show you how to add unlockable content to your NFTs. With unlockable content, you can add and token gate content behind NFTs that you've created. You can allow people to download images, videos, PDFs, anything that you want, you can lock behind your NFT. And the only way someone can gain access to it is by showing and authenticating that they own the NFT. To get started, we're gonna go ahead and create a NFT collection using ThirdWeb. And then we're gonna use an application called dark block to go ahead and add that unlockable content behind our nft before we jump into the video i want to let you know that currently 70 percent of the amazing people like yourself that watch their web's youtube videos are still not subscribed to the channel so before we begin i'd love to ask you a favor if you get any value out of these videos i'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the third web channel and a little tip is we're going to be airdropping 10 users who have subscribed to the third web channel a very special nft every week so let's go ahead and get started we're first going to go ahead and create our nft contract on third web so i'm on my third web dashboard here what we're going to go ahead and do is go up to the top right corner and we're going to deploy a new contract now what we're going to do is up here in the popular section there's an nft drop if you do not see nft drop here we'll if you scroll down a little bit under nfts if you hit view all you can go ahead and scroll down and you'll see nft drop somewhere within these contracts so we're going to go ahead and select nft drop and in the top right we're going to go ahead and click deploy now we're going to go and give a name to our nft drop contract so I'm just going to name it a demo gift and we're just going to give it a symbol and we will put uh, this is uh, an NFT with unlockable content. Now down at the bottom here, I'm going to use the Gorilla testnet and what we're going to do is hit deploy. Now transaction should pop up here. We're going to go ahead and confirm that transaction to deploy our contract. All right, our contract has been successfully deployed. So once this loads here, you will have our NFTs here. Uh, so we're gonna have to set up uh, our NFT and a claim condition. Uh, we'll go ahead and do our NFT first. Uh, we'll just do a single upload. We're just gonna do one NFT really quick. Uh, we're gonna call it our gift. And I have, I have a little uh, present that we're gonna use as our image. Uh, and then I will put uh, this has unlockable content. I'm not going to add any traits or anything here. So again, uh, we're just adding, we're just going to mint an NFT here. Uh, we're going to give it a name, image, and quick description. We're going to go ahead and click lazy mint here. We should get our transaction that appears. We'll go ahead and confirm that. All right, we have successfully minted that NFT. So next thing we're gonna do is under our claim conditions up here in our claim condition tab, we are going to add our initial claim phase. Uh, we'll just leave it as phase one. Uh, we'll leave the time and everything. We're not gonna have any cost for it. So we'll just leave everything uh, as is here. Uh, and we'll go ahead and save that claim phase. Again, confirm the transaction. All right, we have successfully added that claim phase. So we can go back to our NFTs here. And what we're gonna do is claim this NFT here. And we will then jump into Dart Block and we will see how we can add unlockable content and how it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit claim. Uh, we're just going to claim that one NFT and hit claim. Go ahead and confirm that transaction there. All right, you can see now the owner is our wallet address right over here. So we have made our NFT collection and we claimed our NFT. So now let's go ahead and add some unlockable content to that NFT. So we're going to go ahead and head over to Darkblock's website, uh, which is app.darkblock.io. Uh, in our wallet here, we're just going to make sure that we are on the Gorilla testnet, which we are. We'll go ahead and connect our wallet. We'll select Ethereum and we should have our demo gift, uh, which is this guy right over here. So we click on it, let that load. 
you can see right now we do not have uh, any unlockable content, uh, but we do have the option to add content right over here in the top right. So let's go ahead and hit add content. Now, Dart Block allows you to upload many different file types as you can see here with the max file size of 350 megabytes. So you can add videos, GIFs, uh, whatever it is that you want to put as unlockable content to your NFT, uh, you can go ahead and just upload that file here. Now we're just gonna do a uh, image here. So we're gonna choose, and we have a little uh, trophy image here that you will be able to download uh, as unlockable content as long as you own the NFT. So we'll go ahead and open that. And we'll just say it, this is a reward. And we will allow download. So you can, uh, not include download, they'll just be able to view the file or video if you choose to do so. And then we'll go ahead and hit create. So we just have to sign um, right here, just a signature right here is needed. Go ahead and sign that. All right, and you can see your unlockable content has been created. So we'll go ahead and hit I'm done. We'll give it a bit to reload. And you can see here, there is some uh, unlockable content here but what we do need to do with dart block is in order to access that we need to authenticate ownership uh, and what it will do is make sure that the wallet that is authenticating ownership and is signing does own the nft that they're trying to access the unlockable content for and if everything if you do own that nft you'll be able to go ahead and view the reward so let's go ahead and authenticate ownership here we'll go ahead and sign and because we own the NFT, we now have access to the reward, which is our trophy image right here that we just uploaded. And if we wanted to, uh, we can have right over here, uh, we can click on the details or we can go ahead and download that file as well. And there you have it. We went ahead and created an NFT collection using Third Web's contracts. We added some unlockable content using Dart Block, and you now have the ability to add some great value to your NFTs by adding unlockable content to it. If you folks did enjoy this video and you found some value in it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for more videos and tutorials just like this. You can also join our Discord and join the amazing people in the Third Web community where you can go ahead and meet others or ask for support if you need. So again, I hope you folks really enjoyed this video and until next time, see ya.